In this video, we're going to talk about how we can use GPOs in order to rename the guest and administrator accounts on our computers. Now, the guest and administrator accounts are very, very uh, insecure as far as uh, hackers are concerned because of the fact that they know that almost all Windows computers have these two accounts on them. They almost always have a user account called guest, and they almost always have a user account called administrator. Therefore, as a good security standpoint, one of the things we might want to do is rename those accounts to something else. So that when somebody tries to log into it into a computer as administrator, they're logging in with a user that doesn't exist. Maybe we want to should rename it to Joe or Sally or some other simple name uh, that would be difficult to guess instead. So let's go ahead and check that out and see how we can do that. Uh, so here I have a fairly simple domain environment. Basically, it's a single domain uh, with one domain controller and then one guest. And you can see here I am in my group policy management console, and I have a couple of group policies. Now, I want to go ahead and rename my administrator accounts, uh, or at least the default accounts. So I'm going to create a new group policy. And I want this to apply to everybody, so I'm going to go ahead and put it right here in the root of my domain. Just going to right click, create GPO, and link it here. And I'll call this GPO rename default accounts. Once I've done that, I'll go ahead and right click on it and edit so we can begin preparing to rename our accounts. Uh, to rename these accounts, this is actually part of the computer configuration. So it's going to be under computer, policies. Windows settings, uh, security, local policies, and then security options. Now that I've done that, go ahead and look on the right hand side and we can go ahead and we can see some stuff, some options having to do with accounts. And what we're looking for is these two guys right here. Uh, accounts, rename administrator account, and accounts, rename guest account. Well, let's start with the administrator account. I'll go ahead and select that. Uh, what should we name it? Well, let's go ahead and let's rename the administrator account to Joe. And I'll say OK. And then the guest account, go ahead and run that and rename that to Sally. And I say, I'm using those names because that's what I came up with a couple of seconds ago, and I can't necessarily think of anything new right at this point. So we'll go ahead and we'll close the group policy editor and we see now it is applied to the entire domain. Let me jump on my second machine here, which is actually joined to the domain. Let me open up a uh, command prompt. And I'm just going to run a GP update slash force in order to force the group policies to apply quickly. And when this is done, if I then open up Computer Manager, we should see that the administrator account is now named Joe and the guest account is now named Sally. I'm going to say no to that. I don't think I need that just yet. Go ahead and open up Computer Management and we'll look at the local users and groups. And there we go. When I look at users, I see now I have no administrator account. I have no guest account. I do, in fact, have a user account named Joe, and its description is, what's well, the built-in account for administrating the computer and domain? Oh. And then Sally is the built-in guest account for the computer. So very quickly, I was able to go ahead and just simply rename those user accounts, not just on one computer, but on every single computer in the domain. So now if I have hundreds or thousands of computers and my help desk needs to be able to manage them or work on them individually, well, I go ahead and I rename the administrator account to something that they know. And then when they walk up to a workstation and need to log in locally as the administrator, they now log in as Joe with the local admin password.